So here's a good example of again one of these uh, the architecture at corners. So this is the Si Kak Sao Ching Cha intersection. Sorry if I said that wrong. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. Uh, this road here is Bam Murang Mung Road. Uh, and now it's a unique kind of shape. So just look at look at the uh, look at the shapes of the building. It's actually quite it's circular. It's kind of like a roundabout without a middle. Uh, but if you look at the shops, shop houses around, they're really quite unique. This one here has got the clock at the top, but it's got a really cool like, logo and it's kind of like a tick at the top. Really like it. Balcony area here. But yeah, these the intersections are so fascinating. Look, there's a big dragon at the top here. Oh, where is it? There, there's a big dragon. Taoism, the uh, yin yang symbol in the middle of that one. A lot of Chinese uh, symbolism here, uh, Chinese culture here. You get wherever, where, everywhere you look. Noodle man. So just to get your bearings, down the end, just maybe about uh, 50 meters away is the big red swing. So I'm gonna to tour this area in greater depth in, uh, in another video series. Uh, and also we talked about this swing in episode one of season two, which was about the um, Leon Owens family and they supplied the wood for the big swing. So episode one is about colonial period and Bunrak area. I love walking around and making connections. It's like, oh yeah, I know, I know. I know, I remember talking about that. I know about that red swing. Time for a cup of coffee, I think. Uh, I'm near the Craftsman. I think I'm near the Craftsman. Let's see if I can find it. the craftsman which is obviously a popular social media spot and I've also dude with the BMM dude with the BMWs uh, been unfortunately a victim of the storm looks like the uh, yellow corrugated iron slammed into his car poor fellow so this here used to be a printing factory and now it's been converted into one of the an Instagram hotspot go in and have a look and see if I can get a little drink. It's an excellent time for photographs. It's perfect uh, and video because it's just after the rain so the sun's hidden um, but things are being lit up but it, everything's got this kind of like a, a wet look which makes everything shiny so Luke photography tips after the rain get your cameras out. Perfect time. much as I love these kind of places and how popular they are with people uh, can't help but imagine is like is this progress a good thing you know what has been knocked down here what kind of community has been destroyed um, and I'm a big fan if they can preserve as much architecture as possible uh, I mean we can't one can't slow down progress progress is inevitable particularly in a in a city like Bangkok, where it's evolving and developing really, really fast, uh, things are gonna change. But if we can preserve some of these wonderful old buildings, I know we can't com preserve communities, uh, sadly, but if we can com com preserve some of these wonderful old buildings, well, not we, they, um, I'll be so happy, because this is a beautiful old building, absolutely beautiful. Uh, so character filled.
I'm at the giant swing. Before I called it the big swing, but it's actually, the correct name is the giant swing. Now I've timed it very interestingly. Uh, they're filming something at the moment, so I can't really get too close, but I'll, I'll take some footage just from afar so you can kind of get the idea, but everyone's wearing black, jumping up and down, making lots of noise. Um, so I don't know if it's for a movie or an ad. Ties are, Ties have got some fantastic ads. Their advertising is, is really, really fantastic if you've ever had the opportunity to watch some Thai ads. They're, they're, they're brilliant. They're really, really well done. Uh, so I've timed it quite well at the giant swing. So I'll have to keep an eye out for this in the future. Uh, so when it pops up on my TV, it's like, ah, oh, I know where that is. I was there. So the Democracy Monument's just there. And if you want to know more about the Democracy Monument, I've actually done a video about that. And I strongly recommend you watch it. It's a ripper. Uh, and over here is the giant swing. There it is there. And just at the base of the giant swing, Film crew, cast and crew. So this most unique and mighty erection is called the Giant Swing. And I'll tell you more details about the Giant Swing in a future video. I'm gonna do a whole season, a series of videos all about the Ratanakosan area. Uh, so all about the buildings, all about the history of the place. But for now, well, that's the giant swing now what a mighty erection she is so here's my theory there's a barricade there there's a lot of people cheering and there's a guy kind of running in front what i reckon here this is my theory is there's a scene in a film or an ad where the, there's someone racing past and they're all cheering for him. That's my... That's what I reckon it is. So while I was at the Craftsman, I was uh, admiring the architecture and a young lady started talking to me. She actually lives there, right next door to the Craftsman. And she told me a sad story about how the landlords are basically trying to evict her and her family from the place that they've lived for a long, long time because they want to renovate uh, that building and turn it into a boutique hotel, which kind of just goes to show me, you know, there's more to every story. The more I've, I'm on this quest of learning and discovering Bangkok, the more I learn, the more I realize I don't know. And every building, every, every uh, monument, every street, there's got just got so many stories to tell. And I just come to realize I'm barely scratching the surface. But I'm not gonna give up, I'm not gonna let that discourage me. I'm gonna keep searching and keep learning because I'm enjoying this discovery of Bangkok a lot. Okay, my socks have been wet for the last three hours as I've been wandering around the streets. I've run out, my battery, GoPro, GoPro battery ran out a while ago and my phone battery now is about to expire. I think it's time for me to jump on my Vespa and head back home and have a, have a shower, grab a beer. And it's Saturday, so I'm gonna watch a bit of football. Been a great day out. I hope you've enjoyed the journey coming along with me. Stay tuned, part two coming up will be the street art, which I planned to film today, but uh, the trip took a detour and I think it's a detour for the better. So stay tuned up next, street art in the Sampan Tawong area. Oops. Sampan Tawong area, Manrak area, Chinatown area. So my friend uh, who I chatted with about the, who's kind of being forced out of her home that her, her family's been in for a long, long time, I think that's the story of a lot of places, particularly around uh, the Sampan Tawong district. Uh, developers purchase blocks or buildings and they want to return on their investments. So they've got plans to develop and make a buck. Um, and sadly, it's the, some of the people, the residents who do suffer. Uh, and that's progress. 
Now, interestingly, uh, the landlord who this lady was talking about, when she talked about her place becoming a hotel, I said, oh, much more like, the, like this one. It says, it says here, S Hotel, S Hotel over there. Hotel 1962. And she goes, oh, that, that's not a hotel, that's fake. They just put a sign up. That's actually a resident, people live there. Anyway, that's a side point. Uh, the landlord that that lady was talking about, who's trying to evict her, interestingly, it's two landlords. One is King Rama 10, and the other one is the nephew of King Rama 9. So it's those two who, they're actually the dispute. Uh, one of them wants to make a boutique hotel, uh, the other one doesn't. So they've actually ripped her house in half. Uh, so half of it's gone and the other half's remaining and that's where she lives, but it's an absolute mess and it's falling apart. So I felt quite sad for her about her story. Um, and as is with the plight with a lot of uh, development uh, around this area. So while I wandered around superficially admiring the architecture and the modern designs, uh, sadly, there's probably some a few tragic stories behind the scenes that I'm completely unaware of. I love wandering around the streets of Bangkok. There's so much to see. Just have a look at this quaint, ornate little guest house here, which is just on the corner. I'd love to stay in that place for a couple of nights. It's just so cool. Uh, but then just look at the little alleyway down beside it. So many of those little shop houses, uh, you know, they're, they're about 200 years old, those shop houses there. Then we look further down the street, we've got the Ministry of Defense, that brilliant building, that yellow building. And then look at the damage that that storm did. It's just ripped this tree out of the ground. I'm glad I wasn't wandering around here during that storm. It smashed the fence. Smashed down the fence, ripped the tree has been ripped right out from the ground. It was a mighty storm in a, in, a, in, a brief, in a brief period of time. It did a lot of damage. So the tree fell down, smashed the fence, uh, the building, which is the building for the Ministry of Interior. I think it's time they shift their focus to the exterior and fix up that fence. Yes, I'm the funny man.